All right, class. Today we're going to be learning about two-step equations. Do you guys remember what we did yesterday in class? One step. And one step had the form of ax equals b. Okay, so one example of this that we can solve together is 3x equals 18. What are we going to do first? First, you subtract the Subtract it? You have to divide, divide. divide. <laughs> divide it because you're okay. multiplying it, right? So if you divide it by 3, you get? A 6x. X equals 6. I can't do this. I know you can. Okay, x equals 6. And then you have to check it, right? So you have to substitute 6 for x. So it's going to be 3 times 6 equals 18. What's 3 times 6? 18. Then we're right. So today we're going to be doing two step equations. And that has the form ax plus b equals 6. See? And what's, di what's different about this than the one step equation? Which means it has two parts, right? Yeah. So, in relation to this, we have the order of operations, which were. PEMDAS. And what does PEMDAS stand for? Parentheses, exponents, you multiply, divide, addition, subtraction. Awesome. So we're going to apply that to this. In the example, 4x plus 3 equals 15. We're going to do the inverse operations, which inverse means opposite, right? So what are we going to do first here? We're going to subtract 3 from the exponent. And that leaves us with 4x equals 12. 4x equals 12, and then what? And divide by 4. Divide by 4. And we get x equals 3, and then what? Substitution. Substitute to the original equation. So we get 4 times 3 plus 3 equals 15. Well, if you multiply, plus 3 equals 15. And does 12 plus 3 equals 15? Yes. Perfect. Great job. Now, to help us remember this, the two-step equations, we're just going to learn a little chant. Just repeat after me. Isolate by using. Isolate by using. Inverse operations. Inverse operations. Find a solution. Find a solution. And substitute and check it. And substitute and check it. All right, great. Let's do it together. Isolate by using inverse operations to find a solution. And substitute and check it. Isolate by using inverse operations to find the solution, then substitute and check it. Great class, guys. 